Hi, I'm Ken Royal, Senior Technology Editor at Scholastic Administrator. Today I'll be taking a tour of eInstruction's Mobi Presentation Tablet. Mobi is a mobile device that allows nine students to participate at the same time. A real plus for cooperative learning groups. But today our focus is on how teachers can use the device as a classroom presentation tool. eInstruction covers all the software bases. It's compatible with Mac, Linux, and Windows. But the Mobi also comes with workspace software, which is the perfect complement to eInstruction's CPS student response devices. The workspace device manager gets instant access to the keyboard, curtain tool, spotlight, language selection, and whiteboard mode. You can also get to the most important place, the workspace, with all of its tools and options. Charge the Mobi directly from your computer with the USB connector. The pen is charged at the same time, but make sure it's seated properly. Check progress on the Mobi screen, and it'll tell you if the pen's not connected. The compartment on the back houses the lithium-ion battery, good for up to 10 hours per charge. The door is secure with a screw, as well as a traditional opening tab. The RF receiver is also tucked in the back. Remove it and plug it into a computer USB. Insert the RF USB, press the small blue connection button to sync the Mobi to the USB connector and the computer. The Mobi has three blue buttons at the top, separated by a small color LCD view screen. Use the LCD quick screen to check student progress. The color display makes it easier to read. The larger blue button powers the Mobi on and off. Use the two smaller buttons to scroll through various choices when students are operating the responders. To complete the connection, you'll need to press the blue button on the back of the Mobi. This is a familiar procedure with a lot of RF devices. The writing space in the Mobi is quite large. The toolbar isn't overpopulated. You can find what you need quickly for teaching on the move. Mouse mode takes you from workspace to desktop. Use the responder icon to connect with student devices. The rest of the icons are familiar. Selection, pen, highlighter, line, shapes, text, eraser, exit, blank page, grid, previous page, and keyboard. Now let's take a closer look at the software. To get comfortable with the Mobi, you might want to click on a pen and just draw. The icons on the toolbar are similar to those on the Mobi, but there are a few additional choices. This one is kind of neat. Use the mouse mode to annotate anything you're working on. Click it again, and you're back to your desktop. Click on the gallery tool to access pre-installed images in all curriculum areas. Here's one on plants and biology. It sure beats drawing the photosynthesis cycle on the board. Here's another cool feature. Click into right sims, Choose curriculum area and pick a simulation. They're interactive and kids get immediate feedback. Preferences are easy to get to. You can make general, grid, and toolbar changes. Although the Mobi Pen is quite responsive, there is still a learning curve for teachers who have only used a mouse. What sets the Mobi apart is that up to nine tablets can work together at the same time. This means that multiple groups of students can present ideas to the class instantly. Now, the whole class, and not just the teacher, can see each group's progress as it happens. 